for joining me today. I'm so glad you're back with me. So today we are going to be doing some new things with words. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about our new book. So we're going to be working on some words today that go with our new book, The Class Trip. Okay, I'm really excited. Can't wait to read this book with you. So before we do, we're going to work on the words today. And before we do that, we need to make sure our thinking caps are on. So you know what to do. Put it on over your head. Tie it down really tight right there. And make sure those listening ears are out and ready. So when I do this, that means I want to hear you give me the answers. Okay, I might ask you for sounds, I might ask you what a word means, and I want you to do your very best, okay? I know you'll do a great job. Just try your best. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want you to do today is tell me what the word trip means. Trip. Have you heard that word before? Can you use it in a sentence? I'm listening. Good job. Trip can mean a couple different things. So you could be walking down the street and there could be something on the side and you could t hit your foot on it and trip over. I'm going to show you with my Lego man. So here is my Lego guy and he's walking, walking, walking. Do, 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 and boom. He tripped over the little Lego piece and when he tripped, he fell right down. Okay, so that is trip. Now, the other thing that could be is if you're going on a trip, you might go to the mountains or you might go to the beach or you might go see your grandma and that could be your trip going somewhere. Okay, so hopefully you use those words in a sentence for me. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to make the word trip. Okay, now we're going to be working on words today that have four sounds. So we're going to go all the way over one, two, three, four four lines because each line tells me there is a sound there for the word. Okay? So I want you to say the word trip once more. Say it really slow. Trip. What is the first sound that came out of your mouth when you said trip? Trip. Good job. That's a really tricky sound because we have two sounds that are put together. So let's say it again and let's say it really slow. Trip. Trip. Now it sounds kind of like ch, but it's not. It's trip. Do you hear the difference? So before I tell you the first sound, I want you to look and see if you could find the first sound that we said in trip. Trip. If you said this, you were right. The t sound is the first sound that came out. T rip. Okay, so that's going to go right there. Let's say that sound and pull it down. Ready? T t t t Good job. Now, let's see if you can do the next sound. Ready? Trip. Trip. It's the next sound you heard. Trip. Good job. Did you say rrr? If you did, you were right. See if you can find that sound. Point to it for me. Awesome. Did you say this? If you did, you were right. Let's say the sound as we pull it down. Rrr. Rrr. Awesome. Okay. You know what to do. What is the next sound in trip? Trip. It's the sound. Good job. Did you say tr I? If you did, you were right. I is the next sound. Can you find that for me? Awesome. You were right. This makes the I sound. Let's pull it down and say it. I. I. Okay. Now we need the last sound in trip. Trip sound was that? Trip. That's right. P You're right. Find that sound and let's pull it down. Ready? P P awesome. Okay, you're doing fantastic. And I know this is kind of tricky with four sounds. So I want you to say each sound for me again 
and then I want you to blend it together and say the whole word. Here we go. Ready? And the word. Awesome. Listen to me. T r i p trip. Did you sound just like I did? Good job. Okay, let's do another word. Are you ready? You did so good with that one. Okay, the next word we're going to do is, oh, I know this is going to be funny. The word is drab. Drab. I want you to say drab for me. I want you to think if you can use drab in a sentence. This is a good word, and some people don't know what drab means, so you might learn something new to teach somebody else. Drab. Use that in a sentence, or tell me what drab means. Good job. So if I was to explain what drab is, I might look around the room and try to find something that is drab. Oh, and I see something right here. In my hair, I have a ponytail holder. And this ponytail holder is kind of drab. It's brown. It's plain. There's no ruffles on it. There's nothing fancy. And it's kind of this bland, kind of boring color. So that means it's drab. Not very exciting. Okay? Drab. So, let's make the word drab. When we say drab, what is the first sound we hear in drab? Good job. Did you say d? If you said d, you were right. Now I want you to see if you can find that sound. You've got some tricky choices. Look carefully and point to the right one. Did you say this? If you did, you were right. Let's say the sound as we pull it down. D, d. Awesome. Now, what's the next sound in drab? And you have to say it slowly and let those sounds stretch out. Drab. Drab. What's that sound? you say r. If you did, you were right. Can you find the r sound? That's it. You did it. Let's say it as we pull it down. R. R. Awesome. Now, let's do the next sound. We've got d. R. And we need drab. Drab. Great job! That's right. Ah is the next sound. Let's find it. Good job. Let's pull it down. And we are on the last sound. Ready? Okay. The word is drab. We need the last sound. Drab. Did you say b? If you did, you were right is the last sound. Let's say it, b, b, and pull it down. Now you know what to do. I want you to check the sounds, and I want you to blend them together to say the whole word. Ready? Now it's my turn. D, r, a, b. No, I want you to say the word. Drab. Did you get it right? The word is drab. Very good, you learned maybe a new word today. Drab. Look around and see if you have something on that's kind of drab. Or in the room, is there something drab? Okay, well, I'm going to give you one last word because you're doing this. such a great job. Okay, with these four sound words, which is pretty tricky. And you're doing fantastic. So the last word we're going to make is the word glad. What does glad mean? Or can you use the word glad in a sentence? I'm listening. Great job. I am so glad you are here with me today. And I'm glad you are trying your hardest to answer questions for me. That's how I use glad in my sentence. I hope you had a good sentence and are glad to be here today. Okay, so let's make the word glad. Remember, four sounds. And let's listen really carefully when we say the word glad. What is the first sound that comes out of our mouth? Glad. Glad. It's the first 
sound. Awesome. G is the first sound. See if you can find G. Do you see it? That's it. Say it as you pull it down. G. G. Very nice. Now, let's try the next sound. G. Lad. G. Lad. Think you're next. Good job. Did you say L? You did. You were right. Let's find that sound. Do you see it? Point to it. Great. This is L. Let's pull it down. L as we say it. L. That's a good sound. We can make it stretch. L. Good job. Glad. What's the next sound? Glad. Good job. Did you say ah? If you did, you were right. We can stretch that sound and say ah as we bring it down. Ah. Okay, we've got almost the whole word. Glad. What is that last sound in glad? Can you hear it? Say it for me. Awesome. D is the last sound. So let's grab it, let's say it, and let's pull it down. D, D, D. Good job. Okay, let's check it, and then we're going to blend it. Your turn. And blend it. Good job. Listen to me try. G, O, A, D. Glad. Did your word sound just like mine? Well, you did fantastic today. We did the word glad. We did the word bland. I had a bland hair, hair thing. And trip. The Lego man will trip and fall down. Okay? Great job today. All those words and all that work we did is going to really come in handy when we read the book, The Class Trip. I can't wait. So I will see you again soon. Come back and join me. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.